Basically, there's push and pull then. So anytime the legislature decides something, then a lot of times the court ends up interpreting something about that law. When the Supreme Court makes a decision, then the legislatures, you know, in turn, you know, make a decision. So at this point, the question is, now that the Dobbs decision has been decided, and frankly, I, you know, I seriously doubt it's going to change anytime soon. I think the Supreme Court has decided what it's going to decide. Um, so now the question is, legislatively, what do we do? What do we do at the federal level? What do we do at the state level? Um, and so, uh, you know, for me, and, and I, you know, and, and, and I'm speaking kind of more as, as a candidate and a politician here more than a law professor, this is an opinion. Um, for me, I think we reinstate Roe versus Wade into federal law. Um, that basically just restores the status quo as it existed for 50 years in the settled law. I don't support doing any more than that or any less than that. I think that, you know, people know that. Um, there's a framework there. Um, there's a guaranteed right up until a point. Um, it's a balanced uh, a position uh, that the Supreme Court, I'm mean, sorry, that, that, we, that the Supreme Court held before and now um, has, has overruled. And I think that um, it, it allowed, uh, you know, states then to um, do some things with regard to sort of later uh, periods, you know, so, so um, there can be some limitations um, that states have enacted around abortion under the Roe framework. Um, but it guaranteed a right essentially up until viability. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that it, that was the law for, for 50 years. Um, the people are, are fairly comfortable. I mean, not everybody I understand, but, you know, on the whole, 70% of Americans support Roe versus Wade about. Um, and so to me, that's the most sensible thing for us to do is to return to that, codify that law um, as it was. Um, and, and, you know, and just kind of restore um, the law as it, as it has been. Can I ask a question? In the past, there's been a real push for an equal rights amendment that gives explicit equal equality to women. Um, it's something I've always supported. Is that something you would support legislatively? I mean, it might be, you know, I think, I think the question is what is that, what it actually says and does, because, you know, I, I think one, one thing as a law professor that's really interesting is, you know, that a lot of times we talk in sound bites and headlines and, you know, we say an equal rights amendment as though we know what that means. Um, for me, I never ever uh, sign on to a law or say I'll sign on to a law until I've actually seen the language because I have seen so many examples of when we say we're going to pass a law that supports this or does that and then you start reading the actual bill and you go, wait a second, that that doesn't do what that says that does. So, so um, do I believe in equal rights for women? Absolutely. And, um, and, you know, and I think that, that um, frankly, that, you know, abortion is a big part of that um, because it's very, very difficult for women who bear this burden, um, you know, to have equality, to have control over their bodies, their futures, um, and all of that um, without being able to determine what happens uh, to them. Um, and so, um, you know, I, I think that, that for me, this is an issue about equality. It's an issue about freedom. Um, it's an issue about government overreach um, and, and, and putting politicians in the most personal, private aspects of our lives. Um, and so, um, so I, I do think that, that there has to be some right um, there. And like I said, I think the, the, the right sort of balance for me, at least, is what we've had for, for 50 years.